Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from Carwow. So I'm sitting in a Kia Stinger and next to me is a Volkswagen Arteon R shooting brake. And we're gonna have a drag race because these cars are similar in some ways and different in others. Let me explain why. You see, this Kia Stinger is a four-door coupe. And the Arteon R is a four-door coupe, though that one's the shooting brake, so it's a four-door coupe estate thingy. Anyway, this, has a 3.3 litre twin turbo V6 petrol engine and it puts out 366 horsepower and 510 newton meters of torque. And it drives the rear wheels only via an eight speed automatic gearbox with torque converter, but it does have launch control. Now if you're in America, you can actually get the Stinger with all wheel drive. Shame we can't get that in the UK. Anyhow, this car in two wheel drive format weighs in at 1,855 kilos, and it costs from 43,000 pounds, so you get a lot of car for the money. That Volkswagen, not sure you're getting quite so much car for the money. You see, that starts from 52,000 pounds, and it only has a two liter, four cylinder, single turbo engine with a measly 320 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque. It's got all wheel drive though, and a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox, once again with launch control. It's lighter than this Kia, comes in at 1,800 kilos. What is gonna happen? I do not know. Before we find out though, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. If you're thinking about buying a new car, check out Carway. You can do that by clicking on the pop-up banner up there or following the link below the video, and we'll help you choose the right car for you and get it for a fair price from one of our trusted dealers. And you can now sell your car through Carway. It's just simply upload some pictures, information on it, and you'll get offers back from dealers. So they'll bid on your car you're trying to sell, and you can make sure you're getting a fair price for it. Check it out, it's completely free. Now let's do it. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Now, before we start this race, let's do the customary CarWow rev test. I'm gonna start with this Kia. Quite a bit of rev hang there. And a bit of a soft limiter up there. Doesn't sound quite as good as I was hoping for. Still, I bet it sounds better than that. Let's listen to the Volkswagen and its little four cylinder. Go and rev up the VW. That's not got a soft limiter. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I don't understand it. That car does not have a soft limiter, does it? Doesn't seem to, no. Mind you, I don't think they put them on the R cars, so the Golf R doesn't have a soft limiter, and it's basically the same engine gearbox as in that. Has that got the diff on the rear axle? Uh, pass. <laughs> We're so informative here on Car Wow. Say yes. He thinks yes. We're going to actually put the correct answer on screen now. Does the Kia have a rear limited slip diff? I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Once again, we're going to put the correct answer on screen now. Hopefully, we got those right. Otherwise, we look like idiots. Let's race. Come on, no. Traction issues, obviously. <laughs> Just spun up. <laughs> oh, the Arjun's off. Yeah, I lost that. Okay, I wanted another shot of this. So I've actually switched sides because this right side of the runway seems a bit drier than the left. And he doesn't need it to be perfectly dry. It's all wheel drive, whereas I do, because I've got more power and just rear wheel drive. So, hmm, let's see, let's set this up. Stability all the way up. Should be ready for some serious launchage. Have we got it? Yeah, we got launch. Here we go. Two, one. <laughs> closer this time. Am I reeling him back in? Come on, Kia! Just not quite enough runway. That was a better job, but rear wheel drive's always gonna struggle. Ah, oh, it's a shame, it's a shame! We're gonna have one last shot at this. again 
so close. I think that's as good as I'm going to launch a day on this runway in these conditions. Whew, I'm just going to have to take that. It's not bad. I like this car actually. It's got character. Great value. Right, I don't work for Kia. <laughs> Sounds like I do. I don't. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Volkswagen won, completing the standing quarter mile in 12.9 seconds, while the Kia took 13.4 seconds. Okay, now we're gonna have a rolling race with the cars in comfort mode, automatic mode for the gearboxes from 50 miles an hour. We're just cruising, chilling. And I'm gonna call it in. Three, two, one, go. Hell yeah! This kicked down so well! See you, VW, you're getting smashed! Kia for the win. Easy win. Oh my god, it's cheaper. Yeah, it just blew that away in a rolling race. That's a clever now, Volkswagen, with your little two litre four cylinder, rather expensive car. Glaciers move faster than this downshift, unbelievable. I suppose it is comfort mode. Let's take the downshift out of the equation, even though this definitely downshifted a lot better than your car. I'll give you another chance. It's not going to help you, but I'll give you another chance. All right, now we're going to have a rolling race. This time, though, we're going to have the cars in sporty setting, locked in third gear in manual, so we're going to shift up ourselves and call it in. Three, two, one, go. Well, this pull's good. Look at that. <laughs> Gapping. Mate, th this just pulls harder. It's cheaper, it's got a bigger engine. What do you have to say about that? No replacement for displacement, mate. Finally then, we're gonna have a brake test from 70 miles an hour when we reach the line, full emergency stop. We'll see which car stops in the shortest distance. Let's do this. Come on, Kia, you got this. A left foot brake, this one. Here comes the line. I literally had all the ABS then. The brake pedal was just vibrating underneath both of my feet. <laughs> and yeah, yours just dug in and mine's like, what is it? Almost what, half a car's length ahead of you? Oh dear. I super tidy there, did catch a little bit of the white line and a little bit slippery, but otherwise super clean. Damn it. Well, this has more power it does. You can see it in the rolling races bit heavier so not quite so good in the brake test and obviously launching off the line it's not got all-wheel drive i'd like to try it with the all-wheel drive Kia Stinger against the i10r i think it could be a different story then but we can't do that i'm afraid but what i can do is get you a great price on one of these cars now i'm not going to tell you what car it is exactly or the saving if you click on the pop-out banner up there you can see it though all right check it out or follow the link in the description below now, if you enjoyed these kind of videos and you want to find out more about cars and the cars we're going to film, why don't you follow me on Instagram, at Matt Watson Cars, right? At Matt Watson Cars. You got that in you? <laughs> right. <laughs> See you soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Click on those windows there to watch more videos and click on that box there to check out the car I drag race leaderboard to see how these cars compared to all the other cars we've ever drag raced.